Hi Leo, welcome to the channel of love and welcome to your December tarot and oracle reading. Let's just have some coffee, it's getting to feel a lot like Christmas now. <laughs> I was going to say it's getting colder, but what does, what does one expect? We are a month away from Christmas Day. Okay, I'm going to pull three random cards. We get three words out for you, uh, Leo, and see what's on the cards. <laughs> Interesting. What's on the cards for December? Divorce. Mother. 69. Easy. Song. That's why I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Someone's either divorcing their mother <laughs> or they're getting a divorce. I felt the energy of connecting with the divine mother. 69 just took me to the uh, the position. <laughs> easy. Things are just easy now. Every day just feels like a Sunday morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Leo, someone's coming in to apologise. Um... <clears throat> There's been a spanner in the works. I've put the I'm sorry over there by this spanner. Okay, so there's been a spanner in the works. Could have something to do with this divorce here. I actually feel a masculine energy coming through. So this masculine's been going through a divorce, which has kind of taken up his uh, ability to connect with the divine. Now that things have kind of completed now, that's done. That drama's done. It gives you some space, doesn't it? Okay. And then we're connecting with the mother energy here. Now I feel this is on the other side. <clears throat> Maybe by candlelight. 69. That just took me to a sexual um a sexual connection. Mother, I would like my life to be easy. Easy like Sunday morning. I wanna be high, so high. I wanna be free to know the things I do are right. I wanna be free, just be. I'm on my way. <gasps> okay, this masculine's on his way. Me, Tarzan. That actually takes me to the Two of Cups, um, where he kind of is Tarzan in around, he's dressed like Tarzan. I've kind of mentioned that in uh, either the last reading or the reading before. Slave to society no more, in reverse. No longer Tarzan in around. Okay. Escape in reverse. But this masculine's free. The flames are flickering. Let's look at the channel of love cards. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. There's hidden secrets here. Okay, and I feel that's what this masculine is coming forward with. He's sorry. Uh, he's had some stuff going on, but I feel like he's enlightened. Living the Tao. Okay, so uh, he's been going through some stuff for a while. He's been in hermitage, keeping himself to himself. You gain uh, spiritual wisdom when you're in the hermit energy here. Mrs. Do as you are told. I feel like uh, this is a controlling energy, probably something to do with the divorce. I would say that this masculine has been keeping his head down low, okay, until this was kind of completed. Mrs. Do as you are told. Mm, sex on legs. Um, that's quite understandable. You don't really, if you're going through a divorce, you don't maybe want to be seen uh off uh acting flippant is what's coming through so it's like this is why this masculine's held back because it would just cause more drama but this masculine's clear of drama now <laughs> that's a really good energy so it's like he kept you out of the picture um and by doing that the drama has uh neutralized itself 
Well, if you had been in the picture, it would have been uh, long-winded. All right, okay. Hole again. This masculine's hole again. In between my knees. Here's the card standing up like that. I've caught it in. I've caught it with my knees. His needs. Bliss. The lovers. This masculine now can go after his bliss. He's free. Mr. Entrepreneur. That's a real strong, confident masculine. He's going to go after what he wants. He also sees his value. Okay. What other cards can we use here? The flower language. Let's have a look at the flower language. Memories. Temperance. That's the balancing out here. Nice energy. Really, with Leo, which is being balanced, it's a strength card. Being balanced in your feminine, masculine energy. Um, I just saw, like, my soft. Like, I've gone soft. <laughs> This masculine's uh, tempered, uh, tempered his life. Beauty. Sees the beauty now. I feel he can see the beauty now. What's his card here? Admiration. Being Mr. Entre entrepreneur here. Entrepreneur. <laughs> he admires himself. Not just that, but he can see... His reflection uh, in you. Or he sees your reflection in him. It's the same thing. This masculine is realising you are the same. Let's get some tarot cards. Oh, let's pull, on, pull an emotion first. Let's have a look at an emotion. Oh, my ears are ringing. <clears throat> uh, frustrated. I feel that this whole journey has been very frustrating, um, especially for this masculine, because he's kind of been uh, following a plan. There's something about things not going quick enough, but this was the way, otherwise things would have been delayed. Okay, so this was the quickest route, but it's been frustra frustrating for this masculine. That's why he's uh, tempered his... Uh, masculine feminine energy with him okay big lesson on uh dealing with frustration oh we have the death it's gone for a transformation and then we have the devil i don't feel a negative uh energy to this this is more um This energy. One more card. One more card. Uh, you. Oh yeah. Um, with the devil energy, because I'm on my way. It's gone to the floor, and this is the ego sneaking back in. Uh. It looks like all blocks have been removed now. This masculine's still a bit fearful of being judged. And I'd say he's fearful about being judged about the the amount of time it's taken. There is a reason. There is an explanation. But still, it had to go a certain way. So I feel this masculine is about him dealing with his dark side, his ego. Very much about forgiving yourself. Okay, because we've got judgment here. He's praying that he's not going to be judged. I feel this masculine's been through enough that the last thing he really needs is his true love, who I feel like he's been doing this for, to then uh, not understand. The queen of truth. Okay, he knows that he needs to tell you the truth. He wants to say, I'm sorry, <clears throat> just needs to take the spanner out of the works. 
angel prayers. It'll be lonely this Christmas without you to home. Take the spanner out of the works then. <laughs> Peace and harmony. Peace on earth. Can it be? It'll be easy like Sunday morning. If you allow it to be. Archangel Vagul. Thank you Vagul for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. It feels like it's just light all the way now. Peace, harmony, love and light. A wave of harmony is being washed over your life right now. That's that. Have you gone soft? Please trust that the angels are here to help you resolve any conflicts that have been disturbing your inner peace at this time. Take time to surrender to God and the angels any concerns you have about any conflicts or arguments and allow them to lovingly guide you to peace. The expanded interpretation. The angels are asking you to stand down from any conflicts that are going on in your life right now. Take a step back and allow the angels in so they can help restore the peace. They want you to know that they are aware of your challenges and the concerns you have. My throat's really tickly. Excuse me for a moment. So this could also be referring to the divorce aspect. I look like I have a bit of sleep deprivation. I can't seem to get rid of this wrinkle here. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm being taken off topic. We talk about my wrinkles. It's because I smile. <laughs> oh. They want you to know that they are aware of your challenges and concerns you have. <laughs> but until you trust them, nothing can change. Take heart. The angels of peace are here now and they're encouraging you to let them bring the matter to a fair and peaceful conclusion. Archangel Ragul. Ragul's name means friend of God and he is the angel of, of harmony. He works very closely with those who call on him to bring an end to conflicts and challenges. He helps us to remember the importance of relationships both romantically and personally. It is important to have good people around us. Ragul is one of the angels of justice working closely with Michael and Zadkiel to resolve situations fairly and for everyone's highest good. Call on him for help in creating harmonious bonds in your relationships. Perfect message. Leo, have yourself, I was going to say a lovely Christmas, <laughs> have yourself a fantastic December and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Take care, much love. Bye for now.